Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome to Game Reviews and More guys, it's David here, Mr. Cats, I am Mr. Cats, whichever of the three you wish to call me and uh, to continue this dual commentary series, uh, I brought someone else with me, who do I have with me today? What's going on guys, it's Firefield444 or Nick, I mean I don't care what you guys call me, and I am here to basically tell you guys who I am, I mean I've posted on this channel before, but it's been a while, so you guys may not remember me. The video wasn't too awful. Bigly received, or largely received, I mean. Whichever form of English you like to use on that. But, um, yeah, guys, I'm back. I recently, you know, I left because I had schooling to do, so I had, you know, to catch up, you know, and make sure I was doing well with school. And I kind of set this off to the side. And now I'm, you know, coming back. I recently put up a commentary on my own channel. And that's basically who I am. Just saying, you know, I'm back and I'm, you know, pulling back in full force. Yeah, I, I completely understand what you're saying. Because we had, uh, like, uh, a couple of months ago, we had to get prepped for exams. That kind of thing. And the YouTube stuff kind of trailed off of me. Not too much as I didn't, but, uh, you know, I didn't, you know, I didn't stop posting. I just... It was like low effort videos, you know, like 30 second clips of stuff instead of full blown commentaries. Because it's, oh, yeah. you spend so much time either like revising or trying to get something around your head. Oh, yeah, I know. I mean, like, I do commentaries, you know, sometimes I have to do them two or three times over and then have to edit stuff out because I've got, you know, dry spots in it. Yeah, um, like, whenever I feel like a, t a commentary's going stale, off-topic, one of them kind of things, I usually go, David, this isn't good enough, you can't do this, you're not gonna post this to your, mm. your channel, you, you know, I'm a bit of a, uh, sorry, I'm a bit of a perfectionist in that kind of aspect, um, but yeah, that's that, so, uh, if people go to your channel, what, what can they kind of expect from you, now that you're back, and, you know, you're doing this? Well, you guys can expect, you know... Any kind of commentary where it's just going to be random and funny. I plan to do some gameplay commentary stuff. I do some in real life videos where you guys will get to see me and my face and even some of my friends. And we'll do some crazy stuff. And, I mean, just be expecting, you know. Uh, but I can put it like this. Expect the unexpected from me. Alright. Do you, have you ever considered doing anything like Let's Plays or anything like that? Um, not really, but I mean, I'm, you know, it's like I said, I mean, I'll do anything once to just to try it. Mm -hmm. So, like, um, usually when, like, with me, for example, I usually, um, like, if I know I'm, I'm dry on commentary topics or something like that, I'll just replace them with Let's Play. So, it'll be like, my, so I like to keep my subs, you know, I like yeah. to have, give them a video every day. Um, oh yeah, you know what I mean to keep them entertained. Because a lot, I've got a couple messages saying, David, I I come to your channel and like every day you have a, like at least a ten minute video for me to sit down and enjoy. Um, you know, so I I, I like that. That's why I, that's why I love um, the Let's Plays because you know they easily fill that gap when I'm like, damn, I have nothing to talk about today. Oh yeah, I understand that completely. And that's where, and you know that's a great way to do it is to, you know do something kind of live and just so spontaneous to where it'll be. You know, some kind of it'll have some kind of entertainment value to it. Yeah, of course. And some people watch Let's Plays just to, you know, um, you know, like watch through the story of a video game, something like that, maybe. Um, yeah. Some people like it when you you simply screw up in a video game. <laughs> like I remember doing live commentaries before. I did Call of Duty 4. I did one on Call of Duty 4, and this was like I remember watching it back, and it was so funny to me because I'm like, look at that 360 no scope, but he can't. Damn, he hit me. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Damn you, Grizz. Yeah, damn you, Grizz, you son of a bitch. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, I know another time, it was actually the same game. I, I killed some dude, and I forgot it was called a before, so I went running over his corpse. And, uh, you know, that little frag grenade come flying out of his ass. And, oh, um, yeah. That was chilling, man. As soon as I saw it, I was like, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> and I ran, and uh, yeah, I, I still died. Another time was when, uh, again, the same game. You know, oh, yeah. think, of, think yeah. of everything to do with Call of Duty 4 in one game. And uh, some dude just planted a claim or I ran around the corner, boom. Damn it. Oh, I hate that. But yeah, do you, do you plan on doing live commentaries? Have you done live commentaries before? I did one live zombie commentary, but. All right. Do you work with the hot pod? So you, I mean, yeah, I, I work with the PBR. Yeah. So you know how like you have to 
if you just have like the regular old three component cables, mm -hmm. your screen's black and white. And I did that while it was in black and white. And honestly, you can't play Call of Duty Zombies in black and white. <laughs> well, it's already dark anyway. Well, I mean, yeah, but like that shit will mess you up. I mean, like I mean, it doesn't. It's, it doesn't just go black and white. It'll like distort colors and like make stuff look fuzzy, man. It's crazy. That's some. So I've got like a I've got like a fuzzy looking zombie flying at me and. Oh, oh, it, yeah. it's, it's it's a long story. But. Wait, why did you do it in? Why did you only use the free cables? You go, huh? I'm gonna try this in black and white. Because <laughs> oh, I mean, I didn't know you had to buy those cables. This is when I first got the PVR, and oh. I was like, oh yeah, I hooked this thing up, and I'm like, oh. I was like, oh, maybe if I just start recording, it'll go back to color. And then I'm like, nope, well, fuck it. I gotta do this anyway. So that video's on your channel? I'll, I'll give that a look. Wait, it's like some rainbow Christmas tree thing going for the middle, like, randomly. Yeah. Now, I think, uh, I think the new World of War Zombies has, uh, has a black and white mode, doesn't it? You know, there's pro. I mean, you know, knowing PC, I mean, there's probably some kind of mod for it, but I don't know anything. I mean, I don't have World at War, so I don't know. I, mean. I can't remember. I could have sworn there was. There might have been. I don't know if there was one in Black Ops. I have no idea. I don't know, but um, I've said to numerous people before. I've kind of gone off the Call of Duty trail, but you know, I I know understand that people still enjoy the the series and all that. I just couldn't deal with all the bullshit all right. anymore. Yeah, I mean, I understand that, like, the multiplayer stuff, like, there is, you know, there's a lot of, you know, you run in, like, I li you will run into Ghost and Second Chance every single game now. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, lit it's literally to the point where I'm almost fed up with it, but, I mean, I haven't got anything else to play right now. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm just, you know, sitting here waiting for something good, you know. Yeah, but I, I played, like, an ass load of different games. It's just, I don't know, I just prefer playing, I can't, I can't stick with the same game for a long, well, not a long period of time, but you know, like, I can play a game for like a month, and then I'm like, I'm burnt out on that game for like a while. Um, is it the same with you, or can you, like, can you just keep playing this, the same game? Well, I mean, I could have the same game, and I'll play it for a while, and then I'll kind of get burnt out on it, and I can take like a little break and go do something else, mm -hmm. and then I can come back to it, and I feel... I feel like just, you know, trying to, you know, just get that out of your mind for a while. That kind of just, it kind of brings back that new feeling when you come back to it. Yeah, do you, do you, uh, do you ever rage at video games? Oh, yes, I broke a controller. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, Here I got go. this funny Here story. Uh-huh, have you kicked have the you TV? Have you ever heard it? No, didn't kick the TV, so. Oh, okay. You ain't hardcore, no. then. Okay, come on. <laughs> No, but yeah, 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 but you gotta toss the TV out of the second floor window. That's what no, you gotta do. No, we're not talking about the TV. We're talking about picking up the, the massive wardrobe here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, like you gotta start burning stuff. That's that's what you, you gotta get oh. FPS rush on it, man. Uh, so so what? Is, so what happened when you made you? What, what did you throw the controller? What happened? Well, do you know what the impossible game is? Oh, that. How did you? Yeah, the... Hang on, I thought that was on PC. No, nah, man, it's a console game. The little thing with the orange square and the triangles. Is that an arcade game? It's an indie game on Xbox Live. Yeah, is it one of the arcade games? Uh, it's listed under indie, but it's not listed under arcade. I mean, is it from the marketplace? No, you have to... Well, yeah, it's on the... You can't purchase... For some odd reason, you can't purchase it from your Xbox. You have to purchase it from the online, like, computer store. That's crazy. <laughs> All right, man. And I got on this game, and I'm like, oh yeah, this is hard. And like, I, finally, after like 500 tries, I was so close to beating it. And I was, I was actually recording the live commentary, and I actually had an old mic that I used, and I broke it too. Mm. I was sitting there, and the mic sat right in front of me on a table. And when I lost like this last time, I literally threw my controller down and <laughs> smashed it. it. Thing went into a million pieces. I, I yelled fuck through the table up and the mic broke because it landed like with the table on its back, so. You failed me again, you piece of shit. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. But, um, um, it was dad's TV, so I mean, I tried to keep it under control for the TV, so. <laughs> Alright. Um, do you have anything to add before we close off? Come check me out, guys. Alright. Uh, I plan on doing a lot of stuff with, you know, just anything you guys want to see. Thanks. All right, all right. There we go. There's a dual commentary, Mr. Katz and uh, Firefield. Have a good day, guys. I'll catch you later. Deuces.